Playa del Rey. Starting the bike ride. Whoops. Ow. Just put the pedal right into my knee after starting to take the wrong way. Totally dehydrated. Obviously, my thinking is not that clear. So I'm starting off not good. Nice view of the ocean. When I get this thing set up the right way, I'll be doing video of the bike path and the ocean. a little lower angle this time and off we go almost crashed into those two people definitely not doing good so far totally dehydrated tongue is like cotton didn't drink any water before I started usually when I do my videos I end up speeding them up because I know nobody watches for two and a half hours Plus, I don't want to edit out all the music playing in the background. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Um, I am burned out already, and that's what I always say. Ten miles an hour. When I did my ride early on the week to Venice... Santa Monica, I was averaging 12, 13 miles an hour. So, where are we at now? We're about 11. For some reason, I don't do as good. I'm also riding into some heavy winds. I'm not sure if that's always the case, but I just realized I am going right into the wind. I'd like to get on the path right here. I think I'm going to do that. Do that further up. There are heavy winds. Wow. They are really holding me back. Whoo! <laughs> I am struggling to pedal. Brutile winds. Let's go up a little further and then I'll cross onto the main path up there. That way I don't have to ride through that parking lot with the motorhomes and the smelly propane. Whoo! My pedaling has taken me nowhere fast. I'm going to try to get up on the path in a minute. Man, am I beat. Going right into these winds, my thighs are burning. 
wind blowing past my ears feels like a windstorm 12 miles an hour 12 and a half we're all fogged in all fogged in TV doesn't look as far as it usually does though Oh my god, I just got hit. I have nothing here. The, the winds... <laughs> the winds are terrible. Ah. There is no way... that I can get to Manhattan Beach Pier without getting some water. No way. Where's that water bottle? Wow. You can hear how out of breath I am. I don't know what the winds are, but they're pretty rough for me. going up a hill in a minute. Whew, still drinking water. Uh. This is one of those times when a water bib, or whatever those are called, would help. So I think, I'm looking right now, the reason this is always a harder ride, I can see this is the elevation, you can just see that it's going up a hill and I'm hitting winds. I just have nothing right now, I have no energy. And probably the reason it's easier in Manhattan Beach is it levels out. So my thigh muscles are hurting, they're burning Quads are okay, Tuchus is okay, neck isn't bothering me yet, shoulder isn't too tight. So that explains a lot. Nine and a half miles over here, I already smell those, that stinky propane. I don't even know where, yeah, it's further up ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I had to cut out the music over there. Gone two miles in 16 minutes. Took me about eight minutes to start. So two miles in eight minutes or so, I don't know. No, that's not right. Now we're level, so I'm doing a little better. And then we're gonna go down a hill. What's this kid gonna do? Gonna go down a hill, and then we're gonna go up a hill. And then I think we coast downward towards Santa Monica, all the way to Redondo, Hermosa, Torrance, Manhattan, all mixed up like that. This looks like, is this that smelly motorhome place that I always drive by? Nobody's here if this is it. I think this is it. Yeah, one guy with his propane tank stinking this place up for half a mile around. Everybody's back to school. Nobody's staying here. Good. Get out of town. Why do women wear frilly stuff like that? I would never imagine a guy wearing a shirt that hangs halfway down one shoulder with all that. Why wear that stuff? So, it looks
looks like this is a, a mild incline. This time I am recording with GPS figures on the GoPro. I don't know if it's going to drain the battery. I'm going to see if I can try to get the GPS things on the, uh, the overlay of the GoPro video. Nine point three miles an hour. That's how bad it is for me now. No energy. Broken glass on the path. That guy's got an electric bike and he's barely going ahead of me. And he's all covered up in a sweatshirt. Ugh. Let's try to ride this hill. Burn some cows. Oh, did that hurt. Let me downshift. I just don't have it right now. Well, I take that back. That's why the place was smelling. That's where it is. It's up there. So that propane exhaust goes for almost half a mile or a mile away bunch of vacationing people over here all these traveling bums stinking up the air polluting the the earth i'm probably gonna have to edit out the video here because there's always somebody blasting music Does it smell out here? Unbelievable. And the wind is terrible. That guy's got one of the water bags on his shoulder back so he can drink while he's running. Very smart. I'd like to do that, but I don't really like stuff on my back. But I have a bag that I picked up in case I ever decide to do something. No music right now. I believe they just raised the rates on this $75 a night to hook up a motorhome. Retired guy sitting there with his binoculars looking at the ships out there. Come on, buddy. I know you're retired, but get off your tuckus and walk around. Okay, no music this time. I'm happy. But it will be there. Started out late today. It's 11 o'clock for the start of the ride. Normally, I try to get in around 10. But I'm only doing 8.8. .8. Remember my last video? Well, I guess you don't. I was cranking out at like... or something like that. Wow, that guy's flying. I am hurting. I don't blame her for walking. That's what I want to do. <laughs> oh, my God. I am burned out. I've barely gone anywhere. Not even three miles into probably a 20-mile ride. Uh, the start is always tough for me, but this is really tough. Had a turkey, and, I mean a brisket and pastrami sandwich for breakfast. No water. 
It's uphill now, but it's not so bad. I am just not moving too well. So I brought two little packages of string cheese that will probably be all hot and mushy and sticky and melted when I get to Manhattan Beach, but yeah, I think it's going to help me a lot. <laughs> I can't even ride into the wind. And the gear that I normally put it in, I just can't ride into the wind. What am I doing? Eight and a half miles an hour. I just don't have it right now. Oh. I do not have it. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to go today. I always say that and then I end up going Torrance, but I'm barely moving today. Again, part of it's because of, a lot of it's because of the wind. I see Manhattan Beach way out there. It's another three miles away. Looks like it's way, way out there. I'm just struggling to pedal. We'll be going downhill in a minute. The thing I've noticed about riding is when I take a five minute break, it makes a huge difference for me. When I eat something, it makes a big difference. If I drink some water, it helps out too. Yikes. That's all I can say is yikes. Um, downhill feels good, nice breeze, doing, what am I doing, 13, 14 miles an hour. I should be pedaling, but I'm just coasting, trying to save some energy. Oh, put it in another gear and I can't stay there. No way. It is empty. It's Friday, 23rd of August. About 72 degrees at LAX. Very windy. South Bay, windy. I just don't have it. My butt's killing me. I'm hurting. I am drained. Barely pedaling now. I would say it's about 75% riding into the wind and 25%. I just don't have any energy. El Segundo Beach. <laughs> I have never ridden this slow before doing this route, except on my folding bike. I just don't have it. And I'm sure I'm highly dehydrated. My tongue is just all cottony. I didn't get a chance to drink much last night, and I barely drank anything this morning, which is not good. The only nice thing is you don't have to stop at the bathroom, but I need water. In the middle of El Segundo, heading towards Manhattan Pier. water to 
is something. <laughs> I am huffing and puffing. I've done almost four miles. I'm doing eight miles an hour. I'm struggling. Heard the news for a couple minutes before I left. Stop market has taken a dump two miles. Remember, I just passed seven and a half before it was nine and a half after I started. So only two miles, maybe two and a half miles on the path. Barely pedaling. Um, yeah, I'll stop in Manhattan Beach and that will help me a lot. So the stock market's falling apart. I invested about two weeks ago to day trade when I invested, I went about a month ago, I put an order and waiting for everything to fall apart when uh, Orange had made his announcements, which he did, and the market dropped and I bought in and it probably dropped again, so maybe I'm down on the losing end right now, I don't know, but I'll recover. I'll walk away with a chunk of change in the next uh, probably two to six months. But Denmark doesn't like us, Europe doesn't like us, Germany can't stand us, France doesn't like us. The only people that like us are, are Russia and North Korea. Our economy has fallen apart. The farmers that voted for him have lost a huge chunk of their sales because of the tariffs and they will never get those orders back. They will never get them back. Once they've left this country, they're gone. So that's it for the farmers. The bailout that he gave That's only a partial payment right now. That's not giving them the money they need. It's a lot of money that they shouldn't be getting because they voted for him and they shouldn't get a bailout, but uh, once the next president comes in, all those farm subsidies are gone. And those people are gonna be paying for the rest of their lives with uh, no jobs, no money. People that put them in office thinking they were gonna get their coal jobs, those haven't happened. Companies are leaving all over the country now. And because of this, he might have to bail out the richest company, Apple, because of his tariff nightmare. Straight into the wind. Wow. Ah, oh boy, my butt is hurting. The crotch area, the butt, it really hurts. I just had a reposition on the seat. The head is itchy, but I can't scratch the head. Through my new Botranger wave cell helmet that I love, and I'm glad that I have it because of the protection and also because the color is just bright, bright, bright. What else is going on? Um, the jobs market. The jobs market is mostly because of Obama and what he did years ago. And Donnie's been taking credit for that, even though he had nothing to do with it. The only thing he's benefited, the only people he's benefited are the rich that got the, got the tax cut 
everyone else got messed over with their taxes or with the tariffs raising the price of everything. And now he's trying to go after food stamps, which most of the red states depend on, and they depend on benefits. Even though uh, people think it's the poverty and the... Watch it. What do I say in all my videos? They look straight ahead like they're looking at a cell phone and they're not aware of the world. She just charged right out there. So most of the government benefits don't go to the immigrants and the minorities. They really go to the red states. But just like for 20 years, the GOP insulted and bashed the Dems and Hillary, they've also had decades of lies saying that the minorities are taking the government benefits when the fact is it's the red states. They do not have jobs. They do not have good jobs. They mentally live in the 1850s. They don't have cable internet or things that most of the country has because they live out in the middle of nowhere and they don't really create a lot for major companies to want to invest money. There's no money investing in the red states except for a Walmart or a church. Put a church on every corner so that people can pray that they're going to get rich. I'm getting a whole bunch of messages on my cell phone. I don't know why. Oh, I can barely get up this hill. I can't believe this. I am just burned out. I really want to do the Torrance ride. I don't know if I'm going to do it. It depends on how I feel when I stop. Okay, I just looked at the wall. Oh, I got a text message from my ex-neighbor. Wonder what he's up to. Maybe it's his kid's birthday. No, that, that already passed. Um, he wants something, I know that. He's not, not just writing to say hi. Uh, my tongue is totally cottony. How fast am I going? Seven miles? 8.8. .8. I just don't have the, the puch. That's the word. I think it's a Yiddish word. Puch. Um, I'm in a really lame gear. Just barely moving. Always makes me happy when I see people with a helmet on. Not that it affects my life, but good for them that they are smart enough. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. And then we got a, a guy with his wife that doesn't care if she hits the ground and gets brain damage. Um, and I think even if you rent a bike out here, they'll give you a helmet. So my right hip is starting to hurt. Oh, we're just going to coast on in here and do a five minute sit down and then decide what I do. And the brain tells me that I want to ride. The hip tells me that I'm, I'd be an idiot if I keep going. So we'll see what I do in a minute, because I'm hurting. It's kind of warm and muggy. It's windy, but it's, it's hot. Well, how do I want to say that? It's breezy, but when you have all this stuff on, all this helmet gear, 
and stuff on the arms and the legs. Um, you get warm. I mean, I'm just on level ground right now. 8.8, .8. I'm still at 8.8, .8. I just haven't improved. Which is not a bad thing because when you ride slow like this, you burn more fat. It's also going to take me four hours instead of... My last ride I did 28, almost 28 miles. It took me less than three hours, I think. Normally, when I take this way, I do 20 miles in three and a half hours. So, yeah, I'm just struggling to get here. It's up at the front of the, the quads the quads and the hip which could be tight or irritated from my last ride so we'll see and it's barely two minutes away and I just can barely get there That homeless guy with those filthy clothes on, he must just stink. Oh, I don't know, people. I really don't know. This is a tough one. Five seven five. We're almost at five and a half. So that's four mile, almost a little more than four and a half miles since I started. Oh my 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 hip. Yeah. So I turn off the camera. I take a break. Let's see if I'm gonna head on home. Which I think I might do. I think it might be good for me. Just go on home. Get a 12 mile ride in. Don't push for the other eight. Get home early. Don't irritate the hip. Or the leg. Take a shower. Relax. It is hot out here, man. It's windy, but it's hot. It's humid. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to continue. When you look at that mountain out there, it doesn't look like it's that far away, and it really isn't, but it is. And you're feeling, I'm not feeling bad. I just don't have the, the energy which I say every time, but, <laughs> and look at this, I'm doing seven miles an hour, barely able to do this. Four miles, four and a half miles, that's about right, it's a three quarters of a, of a mile before I turn on the camera. It is warm. The flashing red lights that I need to stop. You know, but every time I do this, I end up riding anyway, and I just say, just do it, just push through. But it depends how I feel. What is this table for? You got a table, and we got punch. I want some punch. Heal the day. I don't have any time to heal any bay. I need to heal my leg. Oh.
Woman is so busy talking on the phone, she didn't see that she dropped something. This is Manhattan Beach, one of the richest beach cities in the South Bay. And this is the fountain. The left one doesn't work. The right one is plugged up and loaded with sand. And you can see how the city of Manhattan Beach takes care of this. So I think I'm going to be going further. Um, I don't know when it says you can ride your bike. I don't see the sign. I think it's further up. But everybody's riding their bike. I don't know. There's the red light up there. I don't have much battery power left. I think I'm down to 30%. I don't know what happens when it goes out of battery, if it beeps or if it makes a long sound or if I lose the file. I don't know. Nobody got off their bike today except me. The law-abiding citizen of America. Thank you for getting off your bike. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get on my bike now. I wasn't going to do this ride, but I might. I have some energy now. I had a little piece of cheese. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way, but I've got some energy. <sighs> Not much. Um, I've got enough to get to Manhattan, to, Ma to Hermosa Beach. And when I get to Hermosa, I always say I got enough to get to Redondo. I don't know. I got enough to do it, but I'm really thinking, do I want to do this? And I think I'm going to turn around. I just am not into it today. Not that I don't feel good. I just don't have, I don't have the drive that I need. So. We're going to be on a short ride. I could even go down to Manhattan and grab that mile and a half. I don't even want to do it. I just want to turn around. Because it's kind of muggy to me. I'm really warm. I'm very warm. Part of the reason I'm warm is because I wear skin protection all over my body for while I'm riding out here, except the neck where I use sunscreen. Oh, wait a second. Do I have to walk my bike again? Now, there's a red light flashing, but this time I don't see a sign that says get off your bike. It just says stop. But the light that normally says get off your, the sign that says get off your bike, it's gone. Walk bike when flashing lights, but nobody's doing that.
There's that homeless guy with the dirty, smelly clothes. Yeah, this guy just walks right out in the middle of a bike path. Totally clueless. Like I always say, they are so focused on where they're going and not where they're at. They walk and they, they don't look. Now, I'm glad that I'm turning around. I'm having a really hard time talking. And normally you would say if you have a hard time talking, that's sunstroke or heat stroke or, but I don't, it's none of that. It's just my mouth is totally dehydrated. My mouth is dry and cottony. So six mile ride going home. I can just coast. I'm not even gonna try to go fast. We're 8.8, .8, miles. Man, my tongue is just bleh. I'm gonna go have more water. I didn't fill up the water bottle at that fountain because it was all dirty and sandy and nasty. But, I've got two bottles right now, so we're good. It'll be a short video. It won't take me 12 hours to upload. I don't have much to edit because there was no music. I'm heading back home. So we'll have about a, what are we gonna have? Maybe a 12 mile ride, 13 mile ride. I think 13 miles and getting home is better than 20 some miles and going in an ambulance. That was some very nice, I won't say anything. I'm in a really low gear, but that's okay. And I just don't want to try too hard. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need a bathroom before I get home. Go hit the shower. Lay on the floor with the AC on and the fan blowing on me, dry off, relax, stay home with the dog. 575-678-975. I've got about four and a half miles to go, maybe. And then I'll walk the rest of the way. I'm starting to get a little more energy. The thing about this helmet, I love this helmet because it's protective, but boy is it hot. It really is hot, it just holds in the heat. and it makes it very hard to ride. Maybe not so much so during a cooler day, but my head just feels like it's boiling. If you're still watching, check out my channel. I did a video on the Bottringer bicycle pump that I bought for 39. Ah. Uh, bought for 39. I didn't really want to spend the 89 on the other one. And the 39 works, but I think I'm gonna take it back. I still have the labels on there. I'm sure that I... Guys, more interested in watching the street sweeper than running into me. Beach patrol. Um. Yeah, now I'm doing much better. Now I'm feeling better. My head is boiling. I might be feeling better because I know that I'm going home and I'm cooler, I'm cooling down. Um, but I'm still really warm. I'm very warm with all this uh, this sun beating down on me. And it's been a hot week. We've had some really hot days this week. And that could be it too. Yesterday in this area, it was about 
it got up to about 79 degrees, which for this area is really bad. And it also makes it humid because it's by the beach. So it could be about 76 out here, 70, 75, 70. I think the weather person said it was gonna be 76 at the beach. Well, I'm feeling it. Even though it's fogged in, it's muggy. And I just feel like I'm in, a, in Palm Springs. So the ride going home is much better. I'd love to take all this gear off and cool down. I think El Segundo's got a water fountain. I put ice in all my uh, water bottles and half an hour later it was all melted and warm. That guy's got a heck of a speed. He got good pace over there, but he's packing a belly on top of his handlebars. I mean, look at this. You just saw what I did going there, and now coming home, I'm at 14 and a half miles an hour before I was barely moving at seven. So you can see the difference. I'm also not riding into the wind, and I'm also riding downhill for the most part, so it's a big difference. So I'm going to take that uh, $39 air pump and return it and try to buy the 89 I don't think they're going to say now. It's more money in their pocket. They gave me a good discount on it, so we'll see if they give me a discount on the other one. They might, they might not. If they don't, that's okay. And I did a review on the Topeak air gauge that is kind of weird to use, but it works, it's accurate, and I'm glad I bought it. So I'll go hop in the shower, cool off, maybe go down to the bike shop and do an, uh, an exchange if they go for it. Is he gonna see me? I don't know if he's gonna see me. I don't know. He heard me. Definitely heard me. That's right. Guy's looking at me like he's a big tough guy. Big tough guy putting his head up in the air. Oh my god, look at this. Unbelievable. You know, I'm still a guy and I look at this, some of this hotness out here and I go, whoa, check that out. But I just have no interest right now. I don't need the aggravation of a relationship. People are telling me I should get a wife, I should get a girlfriend, I should be dating, I should find my dream girl. And I say, I don't need the problems. Because everybody I, I know, and I know that's just the reality of two, two people, you all you have your different beliefs and your feelings, and I just don't want to deal with all of that. I don't want to take on somebody else's baggage because I have zero baggage. I am the zero baggage king. So, um, how fast am I going? I'm doing 12.7. I'm feeling a beautiful breeze, but I'm still extremely warm. And I'm not riding into the wind. Definitely not riding into the wind, but I feel the air blowing on me. And it feels not as hot. And my, so you can see I'm going downward. So that's probably why going there is a hard thing, because it's elevation going up it's gonna be a short video we'll be able to hopefully do the GPS overlays I got GPS data on the GoPro and I'm gonna have GPS data on the Garmin and I'm gonna to try to merge them together or I'm gonna to try to do maybe 
one of each and see if I can make it work. See if it's worth it. Um, again, I love this helmet, but God, is it hot. It's just, it's like a, a bucket of hot water on top of your head when you're riding. It never cools down. reaching up at the top it should be cooling down it's it's got a weave it should take air in like any other helmet it just might be a hot day he's walking with a bottle of water and he's probably so hot that he's putting it on his forehead we're at seven and a half miles we need to get to about nine and a half or nine and three quarters then I'll get off the bike and walk it. Now my brain doesn't do good riding in, I know it's sunny, but my brain doesn't handle glare well. Glare or fog or, or overcast. And it kind of messes up my, uh, my nervous system when I see the glare and then I move through it. So, plus I don't think these glasses are the right prescription anymore, so it's all very odd for me. And it's early in the morning. I'm a, I'm a night person. I do better late in the day. So all these factors, not such a good day for a ride for me. What's he doing? any okay I was just gonna say hardly any music today and right as I say that I ride by a bike that's got some music on but at least it was quiet so that's happened about three times today uh, otherwise I haven't heard any music blast or blaring so I don't have to edit anything out today yet let's wait until I get back over to the motor homes oh boy here we do the uphill the uphill, I'm not looking forward to this because I am still very warm and medically, physically, just not my better days for riding. And I really think a lot of it has to do with I just didn't get enough water in me and I'm dehydrated and burned out. miles so we're, we're making progress hang glider if they're hang gliding maybe I'll do some video
Have you done this before? No. You nervous? No, it's actually not as bad as I thought. You're just, you're like floating. Like it's not, you're not going really fast, you're just floating. <laughs> you're not even that high off the ground if you're looking at it. You're like, we did this high off the entire way, right? It's high enough. And he's holding on to you. Yeah, that's true. You guys local from here? Redondo. Redondo? You're close. I was gonna ride my bike down there and I went, nah, I got to Manhattan Beach and gave up. Yeah. It's really windy out there. Yeah. What's going on YouTube tonight? I'll tell you in a minute. Um, I'll give you my channel name, it's a lot easier.
people, I'm going to be editing most of what we just saw, but that is a man on a bicycle that they've been doing CPR on for about 30 minutes or more, and I don't think he survived. So I'm not going to show the majority of what I recorded. What's the name of the company? Win what? Win Sports. Win Sports. What do you guys charge? Uh, that's a loaded question. Uh, beginner <laughs> lesson one lesson is 160 for a half lesson is 99. To graduate as a fully fledged pilot, you're looking around. And what are your hours? Uh, we're here Wednesday through Sunday from noon till about four at our mountain. Tuesday through Sunday from about ten till six. Okay, I'm gonna pop that on YouTube with the stuff they did, so you get a free ad. Yeah, we have a. Thank you. Thank you. I am back to the bike ride, people. Took a stop to for the skydiving and ended up watching the paramedics try to resuscitate a guy on his bicycle that looks like he had a heart attack. Um, they were working on him for a long time. I'll have to look at the video and see how long it went for. They were doing CPR, they were injecting, um, they were uh, shocking. He was extremely overweight and probably had a lot to do with the resuscitation and I don't think he is going to survive or recover. It's probably a massive heart attack or whatever happened to him. And I think at one time I heard them say they had a pulse, maybe, but they kept on doing the, uh, the CPR blood flowing to keep the heart going and I don't know what's gonna happen with that probably not a good outcome I uh, thought I'd get out of there I really don't want to watch them work on him anymore it's kind of sad and depressing and after about 20 minutes or however long it was they Told me to get back and I said how long do you how far do you want me to get back the law says I have to get this far back and they weren't too happy with it and they just turned away so um, I will not be posting the video I'm gonna look at it to see what took place but I uh, I'm not gonna show that other people might, but I'm not going to do that. So, the plan was to do a short ride to Torrance. And I never made it down there because I was too tired. So I ended up shooting video of 
some people doing skydiving. I think that's what that is, skydiving. I don't know. Mountain jumping, skydiving, who knows. And then after that, a lot of paramedics and ambulances, and they were... Uh, it's kind of weird because they went to a location and they were all there and then all of a sudden they all left and then they went to another location where the guy was on his bike so i don't know what happened i don't know if he if where the call came in was different than where they found him or if he rode away i don't know what happened so just all pretty sad Sad. That's never, never a happy thing. To see somebody suffer medical anything. And he was just out there. Looked like he was riding his bike, just enjoying his life, getting some exercise. And that's the end of it. So kind of gloomy for me. Um, the bike fell into the sand a couple times, so I'm going to have to clean that off. But what do I have here? We're at, we got a, an 11, a 12 mile ride. So it would have been nice to go to Torrance, get that extra eight miles in. I could probably do it now at the time this morning. There's no way I could have done it. thighs. I'm in a high gear. I gotta get out of that gear. I got about five more minutes. I'll be off of this bike path. I'm looking for the signs up ahead to let me know where to get off of here. And it's not that road. Is it the stop sign or after the stop sign? So thanks for watching. In this case, I am not going to edit out the audio or speed things up because I don't have to edit out any music. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to show. I might show the fire trucks. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to show any of that some stuff you just don't show on video and Another four minutes or so. I'm trying to find out where I get off of this road. Take me a little bit of time to get home. Hop in the shower. Take the dog for a walk. And rest. Where do I get out of here? Ten miles. I think I've gone past it, haven't I? It's that building way down there. Whoa, this airplane is taking off like sideways, banking, but I can't turn the camera to show you. I don't know what's going to happen. Is he going to crash? Oh my god, oh my god. No, he, he was banking very tight. Ow, my legs. Whew. Legs in the breathing. This is where I got off of the bike path before so I'm not gonna walk on the sand this time what the hell is this person doing 
thinking they're really cool. I'm not impressed. Mental illness everywhere. That's right, people. There is mental illness on the bike path, just like there is in the White House. Another bird scooter dumped in the sand. Poor guy that has to find those things with the GPS and come down here and get it up the hill to charge it. Um, there's the building, there are the lights. Now that was my first experience witnessing CPR happen up close. And it kept going on and on and on. And it was also my first experience watching the watching the body get shocked and doing the injections and the paramedics and those guys were really trying they tried and tried and tried and tried to save his life You know how you watch TV and you see they do it in the emergency room for so long and then they say call it and that's it. These guys didn't call it for a long time and I wouldn't be surprised if they called it after I got out of there. They kept it going. They were trying. <laughs> Look at that dog over there. Too cute. A perfect selfie. <laughs> that was a cute dog. Oh, where can I get across the sands or turn around? I don't want to ride too much further to turn around, but I don't want to walk through the sand. There it is up there. So what have we done? 12 miles, 12 and a half miles almost. By the time I'm done, it will be about 14. Not a bad ride. That extra, I got six, seven, eight, that extra eight miles, I just didn't need it. I'm okay, I'm glad I didn't do it. And I'm getting this done just in time to get home and get to the bathroom and get in the shower. I guess they're the same thing, aren't they? The shower in the bathroom. Um, I gotta go up this hill, my legs are hurting. Yeah, what a gloomy kind of day. What a sad day, uh, seeing that guy laying there lying there um i tell you people you know it's not everything but diet is a big thing overweight is a big thing overweight is a huge thing and when you get over about f i think they say when you get over 50 your odds of having a heart attack and a stroke increase every year so, if you're substantially overweight and you're eating a bunch of garbage and your arteries are clogged, it might be fun to eat that stuff, but you're really not uh, doing yourself a favor. The guy that I just saw was not that old, and he probably had another 30 years to live. But uh, what can you say? Uh, the light's going to change. Is it going to be on walk for me? Probably not. I don't care. I can wait. The light changed. And it changed again in one second. Let's see if it changes again. 
Woo. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, do that thumbs up.